Hello YouTubers, we're making cheesecake today. This recipe has been one that we've been using for around 20 years. It's actually formed from an old Luby's recipe. I've just made some adjustments to it to make it not only taste better but work a little bit better. And I will list the, all the ingredients below and directions for baking it in the oven. Today we're going to make it in the instant pot. You're going to need 10 graham crackers crushed, 3 tablespoons of butter, 1 tablespoon of flour, and 1 fourth cup of sugar. You'll mix that all together in a food processor until you've got it very well incorporated. Today I'm using an 8 inch spring form pan to place the crumbs into. Uh, that will fit in my 8 quart instant pot. If you're using a 6 quart instant pot, you can use a 7 inch spring form pan or a Fat Daddy's push pan that's three inches deep. You'll place your, your parchment round in the bottom, spray it with Pam and put your crumbs in there, press it all up around the side. Uh, then place it into the freezer for around 10 to 15 minutes to cool down. For your batter you're going to need 20 ounces of cream cheese, one fourth, I'm sorry, one cup of sugar, one fourth cup of flour, and you're going to cream that together till it's thoroughly mixed well. Um, it's important to cream this together well. This gets your sugar started to melt in your batter. The remaining part of the batter you will not mix well. You will just incorporate only. You're going to also need four eggs. You'll add those one at a time slowly, just enough to break them up. After you've got your eggs added one at a time slowly, you're going to need three-fourths cup of sour cream, one-half cup of plain yogurt, and you're going to also need two tablespoons of vanilla and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. After your eggs are incorporated lightly into the batter, you'll add your sour cream and yogurt all at the same time just mix it lightly enough to incorporate it into the cheesecake and then lastly you're going to add your vanilla and your lemon juice. You will want to mix that a little bit more than you did the eggs and the sour cream that way you know you've got that incorporated well and throughout the cheesecake. You remove your crust from the freezer and place it on the counter and pour your batter into it. Just lightly tap the batter on the counter to remove any air bubbles. Then you're going to place it on your rack to go into the Instant Pot. At this time you're going to want to take a piece of tin foil and tint the top of the cheesecake with the tin foil. This keeps the moisture from the inside of the, of the pressure pot or Instant Pot from coming down on top of your cheesecake which can actually um, just really can actually mess up the batter consistency. Once you've got it tinted, see how I've got the vents on the side so the cheesecake can still breathe. You can actually kind of wrap it up around the handles of the Instant Pot uh, liner, not liner, but rack. And this helps hold it in place and keeps it top, on top of the cheesecake where it doesn't get down in, into the batter. You're going to place it in the Instant Pot and you're going to pressure it for 37 minutes with a natural pressure release of 10 minutes. Remove it to the counter to cool for an hour before placing it into the refrigerator to cool it the rest of the way down for probably about three to four hours. After it's cooled well, you'll take a knife and lightly go around the edges before releasing the spring on your pan to get it out of the pan for your cheesecake. It's really best to place it back into the oven, and I'm sorry, into the refrigerator and let it cool overnight if you're going to add any kind of topping to it like a blueberry or strawberry topping it will stick better to the top of the cheesecake hope you enjoyed the recipe uh, give us a thumbs up and join our channel and that way we can notify you when we have more recipes coming up this is the pressured prepper and I'm out